look well. Chilbert, are you well? I am, but I wish I could have risen to the challenge put before us, instead of just hiding here in the Longhouse. You were exactly where you needed to be, defending the people and yourself. I know. I just... Our forces outside were sufficient, and your father would have many unkind words for me if anything had happened to you. I know. I only wish my father's long shadow didn't darken my prospects here. I want to learn from you, not watch you. I have no doubt. Next time, then. I want to see the Alliance map. Those Dane invaders, they came from East Anglia, is that right? Yes. Dane invaders who serve a man called Ruid. He seems to be sowing discord among Saxons and friendly Danes alike. Years ago, the sons of Ragnar hoped to pacify the land. They appointed a steward named Finnir to find a suitable Saxon king. But the kingdom has fallen into ruins since, with no king and violent raiders ravaging what little peace remains. I suggest you make for East Anglia and find out what their steward is doing wrong. I will make the trip east then. Speak to this Finia myself. A good plan. What's happening? Finir? Oh, no, not unless Hafton sent you. I sent myself. I want to speak with Finir, the steward who should be working to put a king on that throne. Oh, you're in luck then, for I have found the man already. I'm only waiting on him to get married. Which man? Oh, you know, stranger, you interrupted a beautiful dream. I was sailing through Helheim, drifting on a ship of fire. Dreams of death often run ahead of the real thing. Oh, <laughs> wouldn't that be a burden off my shoulders? What business have you with the backwater king, anyway? Danes from here attack my clan. I want to know why and how to make sure it never happens again. Ah, that would be Ruid's clan. I killed the last man I put here, Adelstan. I suspect they'll do the same to our next monarch. A Dane who can't keep the Danes in line. Not much of a steward, are you? If I knew how, I'd have rid our lands of them long ago. Ruid's clan plagues us all, Dane and Saxon alike. You are the sorriest soldier I've met in this country. Kick your king in the ass and fight back. He needs more than a kicking. He's got nothing he should have to win this fight. No courage, no army, no charisma. If he wants to live longer than a season, he'll need the backing of his bride's family, which he hasn't. They loathe the maggot. Who is he, your king maggot? Ah, uh, Oswald of Elmenham. He was King Edmund's council before the invasions. And like it or not, he's the last Saxon noble with any sway. Why not crown a Dane instead? Half done, Jarl, made it clear. He wants a Saxon king married to a Dane for a greater show of unity. But Oswald's not the sort of man you'd chase into battle with a grin. He's soft, and the settled Danes don't trust him. Where is he now? I'll get the measure of him, see what I can do. You just missed him. He's headed for Elmenham just now, pleading once again for peace. If you go by the north gates and along the road, you may catch him. He touched not that throne. It was blessed. 
Show me what lies ahead. We rushed in like wolves, killing and burning. I built myself a home here. Ruid's clan attacked us as well. Oh, how nice to have a home to speak of, man. Mine was burned to the ground years ago. And by home, I wonder. Please, all of you, be we Dana Saxon, we all want the same peace. With land to till and home to keep, without fear of Ruid's violence. Till they break the peace with another bleeding raid. Nonsense. Their homes are here now. Same as ours, our futures run together, not apart. So what are these Danes attacking us, eh? What will you do about them? When I am king... <laughs> when I am your king, I'll set things right. You will be king when I am a flying troll. A king should be harsher in tone with those who disrupt his kingdom. I'm not yet king, so I'll listen to my people before deciding what tone to take. I'm Eivor of the Raven Clan. Are you Oswald? I am. You're not here to kill me, are you? I'm not in the habit of killing kings, but I do like meeting them. I am Oswald, yes, for as long as I can hold out. So what happened here, Oswald? A clan led by a Dane called Ruid attacked this morning. They've been sacking farms and amulets across East Anglia for some time now, growing more brazen by the day. Do they know this is Halfton's land? They must. They just don't care. Their chaos has touched my home as well, and I'm here to see that it doesn't happen again. Lately, I've come to learn that you are the hook that all hopes hang upon. As king, you could unite all the Saxons and friendly Danes. A minor weight to bear, isn't it? Who else, if not a king, should bear it? Travel with me, Eivor. We can discuss my tenuous future on the road home. What begs your attention in Elmenham? Wedding preparations. Elmham is on guard as we ready my marriage to the Dane woman Valdis. She's a cousin of Hafton's. Good. A well-matched marriage can forge a strong alliance. So what's the holdup? Oh, no. Don't you have permission? That's there, then. Don't you have permission to marry Valdis? Her brothers don't approve of me. Slow down. Something is not quite right here. Hold. There's smoke ahead. That's beeping. Attacked at the walls of Norwich. This place is state. Stay here. I'll have a look. No!
trade your wealth. <laughs> That should be the last of these pig-faced cards. Oswald will be relieved to know of this. Ruid's clan. They left none alive. God rest their souls. I'm needed at home. ...to make yet another fruitless attempt to impress my betrothed family. Show more grit than you're showing me now, and they may start to like you. Yes, sorry, I'm just shaken. If you joined us at dinner, that might ease their minds a touch. Think about it. My doors are open to you. I'd be happy to join you. Tell me when and where. Wonderful. Visit us in Elmham whenever you have time. It's worse here than I feared. Yeah! Look there. Alone Dane. Can't trust that. Shh. Be kind, yeah? As Christ would command. Oswald! Where's this dinner you promised me? Eivor! You came! Dinner will still be served, but I'm afraid you are too early. My intended and her family are not ready. This intended of yours, Oswald? Who is she? One of love? Or politics? Her name is Valdis. And people don't marry for love these days, Eivor. This is an arrangement for East Anglia's benefit. She's from a Dane family whose military might is not to be trifled with. But her brothers, their motives are selfish. Why don't you ever look around and come back later? Dinner will not disappoint. Ladies, this is a day of peace and fraternity. I ask you here to Elmenham to offer my thanks and extend my generosity. Finir, our steward, to our guests of honor, Brothir and Brode, and to my lovely bride to be, Valdis. You get to plow our sister because Halfdan commands it. But you won't drag us into bed with you, you hear? Uh, bro, dear, that The is... last Saxon king we backed wasn't half as mushy as you, and we lost 150 men protecting his maggoty ass. Bro, dear. If you're going to be rude, then I must ask you to leave. This is my home. I won't be insulted here. <laughs> is that why you've come? To back this thane who smells of goat shit and cheap pebbles? <laughs> I'm sorry, did you say something? Do I bore you, Wolfkist? I'm here to protect my clan. If that means helping your king secure his throne, well, so be it. <laughs> You'd be safer crowned the throne. It's made of less wood than, uh, this one. It'd all be safer if you had the stones to stand up to Ruid's clan. Between the pair of you, I can't see a single nugget. You watch your tongue, Wolfkist, or you'll find it freed of your face! So easily wounded by words. Imagine the ruin my axe would inflict on your flaccid ego. My flaccid what? Please stop this! You heard me. That's it! She called us flaccid! Limp, weak, soft! Bye. 
bygone days. <laughs> to be so full of things that game. Not how we settle disputes in East Anglia. Brother, stop this or I'll have both your asses. That's enough fun for tonight. If that's all you've got, it's little wonder East Anglia is in the state it is. <sighs> you are weak, sheep herder. Your Norse friend here can't change that. We are better off without a king. Well, that's me, Don. I think I prefer dream nonsense to these alehouse brawls. What a waste of time and good mead. These brothers will never back me in my claim. This dance is just beginning, Oswald. Get some rest. You'll need your energy. And uh, will I see you in the morning? We have much to discuss, I think. I will find a place to lay my head. And Eivor, if you can help me right this situation, you'll have a strong alliance with East Anglia. That much, I promise. Seems Oswald has set out for the day. I should have a word with him. Good to see you. Oh. Let's see you, old friend. Good morning. Up bright and early. You can labor like a thrall, but you're no good with feasts. Not a good start for a king. No, indeed. I find a solitary comfort in my menial labors. Not something a king should admit to, I suppose. The brothers shamed you at dinner. It's your duty to answer their insults. Don't let the matter lay unresolved. Oh, it was a petty row with henhouse wolves. I'd sooner answer the moo of a cow than worry about their insults. I have a wedding to plan and a kingdom to save. I haven't time to suffer fools. They betrayed your hospitality, Oswald. Where I'm from, that's a grave insult. Well, well. Here's the mud-soaked Saxon who's been taxing my patience. Ah, uh, Stuart Finnair. I know I failed to impress at dinner yesterday eve, but fear not, the Danes will come around in time. You stay claim to the throne, you dazed dog with no bone. If Lord Halfdown were here, he'd squeeze ale from a stone. Yelling, Pinner, my dranger, stick this cur in the ground. All mewling and spitting, here's Finnir the Hound. He has bark, but no bite. Just a puppy I've found. <laughs> what just happened? That is flighting, Oswald. Using rhyme and rhythm to lay a man flat. Try it. Match his verse. There's no man you can lead, you dunce of the thirds. Uh, I'm glutton you are. Just stop eating your words. Not bad. Not bad. Under all that tough posturing is a sniveling boy, so dig deep. When he brags, take a jab at his manhood. 
I've sailed squalls and north winds. You, not even a breeze. But the winds that you sail blow between both your knees. Blow between both your... Oh, you mean farting. <laughs> He's an ugly puss, so when he brags, hit him back with something about his looks. I hail from the north, where the winter's our season. But you're foul. You're a blister. You're a... a... Plague-ridden lesion. Oh, yes, that's very good. Plague-ridden lesion. He's got the wit of a boar, so when he insults you, make him feel stupid. When I'm done with you, cur... You'll be raven flock food, but your brain's soaked in mead and your... Head's made of wood. Wood! Head's made of wood. Oswald, my boy, you're useless without your raven. This one's wrong for the throne. He's too soft and too tame. Hit him back and make it personal. Attack his mother. When you crawled from the womb, you were ugly and lame. Your poor mother, she fainted away from the shame. Well spoken. Before sword clash and blood flow, we destroy our enemies with well tamed words. You have a talent for verse, I'll give you that. But how long will that silver tongue hold up against an iron axe? Let's find out, Finir. I challenge you to a home gang. You don't mean that, Oswald. That's a fight to settle disputes, no? A home gang. A fight to the death, yes. Let's talk it out, then. <laughs> too late. The challenge has been made. But a fight against Finir wouldn't be anything to boast about. You'll fight me. Hold on. This is... That said... I shouldn't be seen killing a Saxon in the streets of Elmenham. There's a nice islet down river, near Seahenge. Water will wash the blood clean away. Prepare the square, and we'll meet you there. I hope you're ready. Oh, I have to be. Just give me a moment to mentally prepare. Do not make us wait long. It would not be kingly. with care. Go easy on the future king. <sighs> Done. You've still got the touch for drawing a square. I've been in East Anglia many summers now, but I'll always be a Dane. Must we do this, Eivor? Strength and courage are always a boon, Oswald. You'll need both if you want the Danes to accept you as king. True strength comes from resolve, Eivor. It speaks to us, a stern voice from within. I've never heard of talking guts, but a swift axe would silence that inner voice in seconds. You must be prepared. Wait, you're unarmed? Where's your resolve, Lord? Stop whining and attack me! We'll forge your king out of you yet. Ah! Oh, was that too hard? It was a good strike. Keep going. Don't hold back. It's a fight, you, see. you felt that one? I'm still here. What? Expect the Danes to follow this poor belly? I'm. I'm still breathing, aren't I? Show me what you can do, Saxon. Big 
king at this rate. Is this the best East Anglia has to offer? Yes, and I'll... I'll prove it! Come on, fight! Finish this, Eivor! It pains me to watch! You want me to fight? Eivor is the victor. But you've shown us something, Oswald. Stay down, Oswald. That's enough. I will... I will not stay down! You fought bravely. Not with great skill, but with spirit and courage. Always push back with everything you have. Even if you have to get dirty. Even if you must break the rules. Because there are no rules. Not if you answer a challenge head on. That's where honor lies. Not winning the fight, but living through it. A seaside brawl won't change the brothers' minds. Oswald must show results. We dress old wrongs. Fight back against Ruid and his men. The raiders who attacked Beatley have a camp down the coast. The sooner we remove them, the better. That would go a long way to building you up. And if you brought gifts for the brothers, spoils from the raid, they'd be in your debt. Time to wet your blade, Oswald. Eivor, I expect your longship crew could help with this attack. No one has been willing to take a stand against Ruid's clan Enough before. The sail. We're a kingdom of farmers and merchants. Even farmers and merchants can fight when led by the right person. I hope your faith in pig farmers is not misplaced, Eivor. There is work to do, yes. But we will rise to meet Ruid's clan. God will make certain of it. Hush now. Hey! Enemy forces stationed there! <laughs> Neither will we. Does the threat of death drive your blade further? Whatever compels you, hang on to it!
Now to kill any stragglers. I have not tasted battle in years. There is still vigor in these bones. Come on, you filthy whore sons. There's iron to be pissed. Nicely. Find something? There's a crate of hack silver here. More than enough to make everyone happy. We'll take it to the ship. A hard one fight. The first of many, Oswald. Have you the will to keep it up? gift to the brothers. I have more than enough wealth in Elmham to widen their eyes, but this will be a symbol of my commitment to our fight. It's a good start. Take what riches you find to Norwich, then send for the brothers. I'll meet you there. Trophy from our slain enemy. What more do you want? Who said we wanted anything, <laughs> Saxon? <laughs> Ugh. No battle dented Dane would ever follow this lump of lords into battle. I don't care how many shields he brings me. You mean to say you refuse my gifts, Broda? I don't have time for this. It's a generous offering, brother. You'd be a fool to turn your back. Refuse this and your shame will stain the name of your sons and their sons beyond. Stay out of this, wolf kissed. Take the gift. We have bigger problems. One of Ruid's men. Aye. Sniffing around the outer walls, looking for an easy way to slip a few dozen men inside. If there's one scout, there will be more. Something you might have learned if you kept him alive. I was passing water when he surprised me. It was either him or my plow sword. Where did you find this one? Just outside the Northwich Walls, by the water's edge. They will be looking for points of entry to sneak a herd of raiders through. Jesus. Find another scout. We'll question him. I'll look around. The rest of you stay here and out of sight. If I find anyone suspicious, I'll bring him here. Ruid scouts would be camped near their boats outside the city walls. One of them will talk. My eyes, Zunin. There looks like one of Bruid's men. Ah! 
Wait, wait. What are you doing? I'm just a pig farmer. You are awfully well armed for a pig farmer. Stay down, muckworm. I have some friends who'd like to speak with you. Put me down! I tell you, I'm a cow farmer. Let me go, Dane. You said you were a pig farmer just moments ago. It, uh, it's not beyond reason. I tend to many livestock. You are as Dane as I am. Save your breath, liar. send you to speak now and you may live to see tomorrow Arger swine that won't make you any friends here a scolding like that is a mortal offense boy I killed the bastard don't give him time to act again I'll ask once more why were you lurking around Norwich's walls I came to pay my respects, Lord, to Oswald, the whimpering Saxon ergy of East Anglia. You have scolded this man twice with forbidden words. It is now his right to kill you. Lick my tongue hole. Here's the tongue I use for licking. How does it feel against your eyes? When the braziers lit at Dunwich, Ruid and his men will rally. They mean to attack Northwich by its weakest wall. <laughs> you English Danes are soft as butter now. Ruid sends his blessing, lady. He'll see you again very soon. That's enough to go on. Time to die. That wasn't necessary. He insulted you before everyone gathered here. You should have struck him down yourself. I will not have blood spilt needlessly in my kingdom. This has to end. Alive, this man was a risk. Valdis. This man spoke as if he knew you. Ruid was my husband. Your husband? You're married already. I was. We've been apart for five summers. I never expected to see him here. And I never wanted to. East Anglia's prosperity depends on our safety and unity. With Ruid's clan stomping around, neither is possible. I must speak with him myself, man to man. There's no place for him in East Anglia. He must hear it from me. Right. I'll start looking for a new king tomorrow. It was good to know you, Lord. Ruid will eat your lungs for supper, Oswald. Steer clear of him. If I'm to be a worthy king, I must meet the man who bedevils us. I'll light the braze here at Donich and face him when he comes. You sure you want to do this? Meeting Ruid in the open comes with many risks. It's the only way. We must face him head on and we cannot waver. Come, Oswald. We make for Donwich. And of course I will see the lot of you there as well. Else the songs of your cowardice will ring out over the generations. I'm sure you're heading to Dunwich any moment. We'll be there, Eivor. You don't speak for us, steward. Need I remind you, Wax, what happened? Leave you here! Dunwich. Will its men tore through it? Eivor, you made it. Dunwich.
It is time to light the brazier. I'll light it. You do the talking. Bruthir, Valdis, and I will scout the dock. Make sure there are no surprises. Oswald and I will hold here until the brazier is lit. The front gate is heavily guarded. You'll not be walking in. I'll find my own way. We'll be watching you back. Dunwich. Now to clear out Ruid's men and light that brazier. I need your eyes, my friend. The guards here are vigilant. Go, Sunan. Spread your wings.
That's the last of them. Once the brazier is lit, the rest of Ruid's men should arrive. Odin gives me a bargain. A few dead men at my feet in exchange for a ripe East Anglia, and my wife returned. What a day! You. I don't know you. You don't need to know my name. You won't have a use for it beyond today. <laughs> Who called for me? Was it you, Valdis, my love? Why would I call you now, after five happy years away from your stinking balls? I called you, Ruid. You, Oswald, the hopeful king of East Anglia, and Valdis's husband-to-be. Take your men and go. East Anglia is strong with Saxons and Danes united. It will not fall to raiders. Must I set sail for Denmark with nothing to show for the journey, after coming all this way? You'll have my weight in silver. And an abundance of livestock and grain. I've taken ten times that already. What's the real prize? I'll make you an offer, Pigfoot. A home gang, just you and me, for the future of your kingdom. I accept. I accept. A fight to the death. East Anglia's the prize. Let it be heard. Wait! The hazel is laid! The square is made. When you see a chance, lead Valdis and the brothers to safety. They must not fight today. East Anglia needs them. Let me be your champion. No. He called on me. Whenever you're ready, King of <laughs> Sheep <laughs> I'm ready! Breaking off. They've given up for now. Let's put some distance between us. We can rest a moment. By Thor, he fought well. Raging like a bonfire. We should go back.
Oswald may have survived. Ruid as well. It's possible. Ruid's men will press their advantage. We must be ready when they attack. We'll go to Norwich. Meet me there when you can. He died a hero, there's no doubt. If his god won't take him, all the sword women will. Another king lost Abel. Stop washing your face with mead. How can I face half Don Yarl now? I've failed him again. We can take the battle to what remains of Ruud's clan before they hit back. Easier said than done. His men are holed up in Bor Castle, a fortress on the sea. On the sea? Then it must have a harbor. It does. Guarded by a gate of hefty iron held in place by timber spikes, difficult to force open. Timber burns. It does. But how do we reach it? We rig your ship with oil at her front and sail it ablaze at the gate. They would see us coming long before we reached the walls. We raise a feared, an army of East Anglia's farmers. Throw them at the front gate as a distraction. <laughs> Saxons willing to die for a bunch of Danes? It's a stretch. It can work, Finian. If they fight in Oswald's name, that is all the courage they will need. <laughs> you there! Did you hear of Thane Oswald's fate? Aye, we did. He dragged Ruid to the bowels of Elba, Dane devil. Ruid may be gone, but his clan still plagues East Anglia. And would you join us to rid your kingdom of his dogs? For Oswald? Aye, anything. Two eager Saxons is not yet defeated. But you may be right. You may have a chance. I can ride to Elmenham and muster what remains of Oswald's men there. But who else would join us? The Reeve of Thaleford, Winston. He's a bitter old barnacle, but he would fight to the death of this land. We can assemble a forward camp at the ruins north of Poor Castle. Ride with me, Finir. Let's pay this Reeve a visit. Then they hope. They avoid remains untouched by Ruid's violence. Hope is a scarce word in this kingdom. Maybe so, but I would rather hold on to something, anything, than ride with empty hands. If Ruid's clan continues to roam this kingdom unchecked, the people of East Anglia will be as ravaged as these lands. And where do we find ourselves? Riding into defense to beg a horde of frightened farmers for aid. To fight for a king that you gave them, Finir. Remember that. It was my task to find them a king, not protect that king against every danger that might befall him. Oswald wasn't crowned yet, nor was he married. I say you have some work yet to do. Right, right. No need to remind me of Farah. Watch your back. Ruid's clan may still be nearby. Wood smoke and ash. Ruid's men have been here. Watch your back. Ruid's clan may still be nearby. Have a look soon, isn't there? So no time to waste what the Lord has given us. What about you? Everything is gone, really. Everything. Ah, oh, my friend, we will rebuild, I promise you. We ain't got the strength, though. A will of iron coming here, knowing your kind did all this. Ruid's clan is your enemy, not me. I come on behalf of the late Oswald of Elmenham. You're still a Dane from top to two. Your meddling that led to Oswald's death, leaving our kingdom for the worse. Oswald died defending East Anglia, defending you. Will you not do the same? What? Die in defense of a lost cause? I have problems of my own. East Anglia will fall if Ruud's clan is not defeated. Fight with me to drive them off for Oswald and your kinsmen. Pretty words, Dane. But the men of Theovard have their own battles to fight.
If you need an axe, I'm standing right here. There's a village to the east, Kingsbury. It was taken by Ruid's men a fortnight ago. Now you'll not rest until it's back in our hands. Let me and my raiders take the village. Save your strength, and join us for the fight to come. Bold offer. If you do as you promise, the pikes at Theavard will be yours. I will take this news to our forward camp, Eivor. Follow where you can. I will see you there. Kingsbury's church has a great horn atop its steeple. If you manage the task, blew it. I knew you kept your word.
and signal victory. Let's hope his promise holds. I held to my oath, Reeve. I hope you will honor yours. My promise holds, I. Theovord will join you in the fight against Ruid's clan. With your aid, we may yet save East Anglia. In past times, that horn was used to muster fears all across our land. You may find others who have warmed to its call. Good. Whatever willing men you find, rally them soon at the ruins north of Burt Castle. Theovord has answered the call. As you join Finny at our forward camp. The Brothers' fleet, gathered and ready. That horn came from Elmenham. Baldis must have got to them. Theovord! Word of your actions in Theovord has spread like wildfire. Men are pouring in from across East Anglia, and our ships stand ready. The Edward's Reeve is with us. His men will be here soon. More than his, the Kingsbury Horn has inspired men all across this kingdom. We will have the army we need. It seems Oswald got what he wanted in the end. Saxon and Dane united in common cause. A pity he is not here to see it. Forces will be ready soon. Are you ready to start the assault? I am. Our target is Bur Castle, said to be impenetrable. Good. Let them have their false confidence. By cover of night, Baldus will lead the field at the front gates. With Ruid's men distracted, our forces move on the sea gate from the backwaters at their backs. And once we're in, we'll leave no gate closed in that castle. Ruid's men cannot be allowed to dig in further. Your longship, is she ready? She awaits her own special glory. They need your word, Sabor. For a long time you lived in fear. Your house is raised, your fields scorched. Now your chance has come. Fight to be free of this pain. Fight to be free of fear. Freedom! Freedom! Now is the time. Today we rid East Anglia of Ruud's clan once and for all. Remember the dream I spoke of? You sail through Helheim on a ship of fire. Here, it may come to pass. Dreams. Life. 
Maybe they are one and the same. Tonight I ride the flaming sea steed, rushing for the spear den. A watcher alight on water's wake, another glory I will keep. Ready yourselves. Ruid shit stains will see us coming. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oswald. He lives. Oswald lives! Eivor, is that you? Shut your arse, you twig spine! <clears throat> Stand fast! This will be over soon! Worry not for me! You must stop! <clears throat> Silence, fool! So this is what it comes to, Wolfkist? Two Danes fighting over a filthy Saxon horse, son? This swine is your prize! Come and get him! <clears throat> Clan, you lead, Ruit. Yes, and one that has bled this country high for two summers. Uh, lead, Ruit, while pity restrains my blade. Until I've taken all these shores. Uh, East Anglia will have its king, and it will not be you. Uh, that grovel uh, world in a cave. You must be blind to stand with such a man. Uh, for all your efforts, only the cold dark of Niflheim awaits you. Just another blasted shot upon it. Oh! I just gained by tooth and nail for a Saxon. This Saxon of all. He has an abundance that which you do not. He is fit to rule, fit to lead. You are not but a murderous plunderer. This land is rife with weakness, and you are just another blighted dot upon it. Nothing a little fire cannot purge. For a Saxon king, ah! the Sagas will scorn this day. I will enjoy. Thank you. You throw in with these wastrels, these Argir swine? For what? A scrap of land and a promise of peace? Eivor, no! He should be tried before God, a lawful assembly. <laughs> I won't have my reign begin with more blood spilt than is needed. Another screeching skull. This man must die for the damage he has wrought. The old laws are clear. These are Oswald's lands. To rule as king as he sees fit. Does Eivor bow to kings? To defy a king would shame him. East Anglia cannot heal without his honor intact. And what of your honor, Eivor? How much are you willing to lose? He deserves death, Oswald. That's our way. Eivor, please! <laughs> blood for blood leaves no warmth in the hearts of men, Eivor. None at all.
I should speak with Oswald. See if he's well. Eivor. Saxon and Dane. We fought well, side by side. If there is to be a future for both our kind, people like you and me will have to change the most to live within it. Even if that makes us uneasy. When you're crowned king, the laws of this land will be yours to decide. All this is... is like a dream. But you're not asleep. Well fought, well fought, the both of you! You came as well, old friend. If I'd known you were still alive, I would have stayed in Norwich. Look around you. A happy occasion and a glorious victory. And soon, something more grand to take place. A wedding, my love. If you will still have me, that is. And why would I not? I fought poorly. I melted under the heat and anger of that brute. And I never... Oswald, stop. You fought with all your heart and soul. That's all you need ever do. Come then. We have much to prepare for. A bride to wed and a kingdom to lead. What some men wouldn't give for such things. Countless men have died for them. And you, Vinir? Are you jealous of such things? Hardly. My heart is a fire, but my body aches. I desire only a long nap. I saw a bale of hay back there. Later, Abel. For now I must see to the wounded. Then I will see you at the wedding. Aye, of course you will. I should return to Elmenham. Oswald's wedding will soon begin. Worthy celebration, my lord. Thank you. May this feast set a spirited tone for East Anglia's future. Just like you to keep a king waiting at his own wedding. Yet I arrived in the end. A part of me worried you wouldn't. I told you I would see you crowned. And now here we are. Without you, I'd be dead. Another wasted hope for East Anglia. You look good, Oswald. Like a man about to marry a more powerful woman. Do I? Because I'm nervous as hell. Of all the battles a man can fight, the war against himself is the hardest to win. I hereby name you man and wife, and as man and wife, I name you...
Oswald of Elmenham, first of his name, the rightful king of East Anglia, with his Lady Valdis, soul, fist, and beauty of this land. You've done it, steward. A king now sits on the throne of East Anglia. Don't leave yourself out of this song. We did it together. Back to your dreams, then, of fire and Helheim. I lost my way some time ago. Hard to say when. I don't want to be here. I never did. This was half Dan's dream. He ordered me to see it through. In my dreams, I'm sailing, remember? Wind in my beard, salt on my lips. I want that life again. Whether or not I find it, only time will tell. Until then, let us feast, drink, and forget our pain! Eivor! Care for a challenge? Eivor! Wolf kissed. Gaze upon my parts. They stand so strong. Unbreakable at this distance, no? They are not, Brothier. My arrows shatter whatever target they strike. Even after draining so much meat, succeed and you shall be rewarded. <laughs> Keep your eyes open long enough to witness this, you drunken loud. Everything an easy task for the wolf kissed. Ah, uh, barely a challenge. Impressive, impressive. Here as promised. Now go enjoy the party. Skull Ivor! Let's have a drink. Your fist is without ale. Let us address that. Surely a special kind of metal is required for drinking before the new king? A metal not unlike your own. To Odin and his endless glories! And the new king of East Anglia! May his reign be long and good! Not bad, Wolf Kiss. I wager you couldn't drink more than me if you tried. <laughs> A fool's wager. A challenge nonetheless. What say you? I will drink you under the table. <laughs> Confident, are you? Let us see how you fare against the ale beast of East Anglia. And we'll make it interesting. Put your silver where your mouth is. What say you? I accept. Yes, to celebrate. Skull! Drink more! Skull! 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 To the barrel, okay? Stop! 
it's strong. But I am stronger! <laughs> Aye, stronger than me. You drink as well as Valdis. Now that I would pay to see. Speaking of payment, where is my silver? Here. Well earned, Wolf Kissed. Look there! Thinner on the roof! The road to Valhalla does not... The boar represents fertility. Did you know that? As does Freya. What's your point? You impress me, Eivor. Your battle wisdom, your strength of character, skilled in so many ways. Yet I wonder, is there any skill of mine that I could impress upon you? Even a fool has something to teach, whether they are aware of the lesson or not. Hey, hey. But I could show you how to wield my plow sword. Sheath your plow sword, bro dear. I'm not interested. Uh, you you thought? No, <laughs> no. I wasn't serious. Come on now, drink and be merry. Well ahead of you, friend. Wait, did you hear? Did my brother just call me? I think he. You know I should go. Brother. The road to Valhalla does not run that way, Finir. He's been out there a while. Eivor, Eivor! Some sweet wine for a sweet swine? <laughs> Come join me! <laughs> the Saxon god wanders somewhere up here, does he not? I haven't seen him. They like to say he moves with mystery. Look! The moon! It moves on trouble now. But one day it will be eaten by a giant wolf and the nights will be black forevermore. Are you all right? I've tasted glory once again. And it was good. I'm glad to hear it. Now... I always felt like Skull or Hati. Chasing and trying to fulfill Halfdan's wishes. But now I've caught my sun and moon. I've got them and... I... I don't know. You can let them go. Sail to a further shore. My long ship's in Valhalla. Oh, don't you remember? Fire starter. <laughs> Come on. Let's get you to solid ground. Everything's spinny. You're very strong. You're very large. Outfitch. Sorry for this, Eivor. I've had one last glory. I should be happy. I am happy. Thank you. It need not be the last. Not the last. <laughs> Enough fun and games. I should see how Oswald is doing. Eivor, I'm about to address our guests, and I'd like you to be there. It's been a worthy ceremony so far. And have you had enough fun yet? I'm ready to hear you address your kingdom. Good. Come, come. Join me. Friends. Honored guests, we've pushed through hard times. It seems like all we've known is loss and suffering. But it is not conflict that binds us. It is compassion. May we always favor compassion, even when our enemies refuse its boon. So to my Dane friends and neighbors, I give thanks for the bravery you have shown during our collective struggles. And for my fellow Christians, may we continue standing as examples of our Lord's grace. Lights in the dark. 
I see East Anglia's future right here, right now, in all of you, Dane and Saxon alike. To our future. Still a bit soft on insults, but the king has courage. And to Eivor, without whom none of this would have been possible. On behalf of East Anglia, let this ring be proof of our loyalty to the Raven Clan and all they have done for us today. Would you have any words of wisdom for us? Oswald, you would not have been my first choice as king, nor my second. I thought you weak, bendable, without resolve. But not all men are as they first appear. I came to see that Oswald's heart is amongst the larches I've ever known. He is sturdy, he has wisdom, and he has courage. All qualities of a man worthy to be king. He is the king East Anglia deserves, and the king you need. To the good King Oswald! To Oswald! Skull! 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 Okay, everyone, the bridal race starts now. Remember, you all have to lose to the bride and groom. Quick, brother! We can't lose to Oswald. It was a beautiful wedding, Oswald, like you said it would be. Thanks to you and everything you've done here. Everything I've done here was for my clan. Their safety is my knights get rest. You know that feeling, I'm sure. I do. When we met, I spoke of an alliance. Will you hold to the oath you made? I will. Consider East Anglia a friend of the Raven Clan. There will be a day when I come calling. Goodbye, friend. Until next time, Great King. I should find Finnia, say goodbye before I leave. Ah, greetings, Eivor. You're missing the festivities. I've had my fill. It's as much yours as it is Oswald's. I was a crumbling man, Eivor. Before all this, I thought I'd die a tired old failure. But now... My heart burns bright with newfound fire. I want to live hard, die fierce. Glory cares not for age, Finir. Sail with me. My ship could always use a wise head and a strong axe. Together. Together. I'll gather my things. I heard shouting. Is something wrong? Holgir robbed me, and I demand he be punished. Ha! Rot disappointed word. Does the deer rub the stream when she takes a drink? Does a cow rub a field when he crops on sweet grass? Eivor, this matter requires sensitive judgment. Will you? Of course. 
From the beginning, please. Well now, there is no excuse too small, I see. Nothing to keep you from coveting that seat, is there? In Sigurd's absence, who has better claim to oversee these disputes? You might leave them to work it out for themselves, but that would mean... letting go, would it not? Please start again. Tell me all that has happened. I will start. I have been falsely accused by this Saxon Philistine. A filly what? Are you mocking me? Silence, please. I will hear both of your complaints and render a decision, awarding compensation if needed. Understood? Rowan, tell me your version of these events. Huh. As you are aware, Holger and I are neighbors. Near enough that I often catch him at my stables, stealing my tools. Borrowing? Holger, let him speak. Stealing, borrowing. My point being, I have always allowed him to use whatever he pleased. I greatly admire your Norse generosity and had hoped to match it. But this morning, Holger stretched the limits of my grace. Entering my stables for their feed, I found my most beautiful, gentle mare stripped of her tail. Bereft, not a strand in sight. I am ashamed to say my natural suspicion drew me to Holger and how right I was. But when I peered across the lane, there he was, gripping a horsetail brush slathered with indigo, dragging it across a sheet of painting, Rowan. I was painting. You make it sound so crude. You see? Such willful arrogance. It will take ages for Ilgafu's tail to reach its former length. I demand compensation. I understand. Thank you, Rowan. Holger, let me hear your sight. Eivor, you have known me as a skald for years. You have seen how my poems bring life and joy and wisdom to our people. And you know that my work requires a certain, let us say, freedom to make use of rare resources to compose my verses. Often, when lacking the proper tools, I have made use of novel items. Alvis's walking stick, Tovi's inks, all were given gladly. You cut off my horse's tail to make a brush, you bleed- Rowan! As I was saying, this morning in the throes of poetic reverie, I realized that my latest piece required Delicate brushwork. I could have used a frayed stick, some cloth, my hands, but no. I needed something gentler, softer. To make a perfect brush, I needed the fine hairs of a well-raised horse. And so I availed myself of a local resource. You clipped Alfgafur's tail to the rump without asking. It was early. I did not wish to wake you. Thank you, Holger. I believe I understand your position. I believe I have heard enough. If you will... My horse looks like a fool, Eivor. No handsomer than a donkey now. You must do something. Do not conflate hair with beauty, Rowan. She remains radiant. Elgifer's hair will grow back in no time. Quiet, both of you. Now listen. Holger. Rowan is clearly in the right. You shared the tail from his horse without gaining permission. I borrowed the tail. Borrowed! Does the reality of regrowth not make this a victimless crime? It is a two-victim crime, Holger. Though they are unharmed, you took without asking, and that will not do. As the horse's value has diminished significantly, you will pay Rowan its market price. But the horse was not for sale. Rowan, admit it! My decision is final, Holger. Pay what you owe, and meet tomorrow as friends. And if I do, may I keep the horse? Pay the man and be done with it. Rowan, does this satisfy you? It does. Thank you, Eivor. Good. Then by Tyr's blessing, let this matter rest. We're done here. Return to your homes in peace. Oh, hello, Eivor. Good day. That Holger, 
He is quite the character. I almost envy him. To see the world through such a muddy glass and live with such petty concerns. He hasn't a care in the world. Let's not walk too far with that idea. I need you right where you are. East Anglia is with us. Their King Oswald has pledged his loyalty to us. Eivor Kingmaker, we shall call you soon. Some interesting news. King Cheolvulv has sent Cheolbert to Shropshire. He hopes to install him as Elderman there. Good for Cheolbert. He should do well considering all he has learned from you. I gave him only a taste of my knowledge. The rest he will need to figure for himself. One more thing. I do not know if you heard, but Svend passed away a short time ago. The poor man slipped away in his bed. I had not heard, no. And how is Tovi? She must be gutted. It has been rough on her. She spends quite a lot of time at his burial mound. Speak with her, if you have the time. 